mainly we were in a reactive mode and we did a lot of firefighting. We want to get away from that, so what we were looking for was a system that gives us predictive maintenance, something that gives us a much earlier warning. We found that in uh, SAM4 from Symbotics. Here's the bubble. We are producing 300,000 tons of zinc annually. That means we have to run 24-7. Also considering the high energy prices, we started to operate more flexible, which gives a higher pressure on the installation, because there are some moments where we are not producing when the energy prices are high, so we have to run much higher to achieve our production targets. Therefore, a lot of the equipments which were not critical a couple of years ago are now highly critical. When we have a failure of one of the single equipment inside the plant and then we have to stop part of the process and if it's in the roasting then we have to stop the whole process so we have to stop the whole plant. This causes of course a uh, high downtime, major cost and sometimes also we have a negative impact on our contractors so that may have a major impact as well. Normally we would have called technicians either at night or in the weekend uh, to make sure that we were able to continue running and uh, on an emergency, the cost would be way higher than being able to plan it. SAM4 listens to the heartbeat of the electrical motors that are connected to the motor control centers. At Budo, we installed the hardware in the motor control center cabinets, so nothing is mounted on the motors and equipment themselves. For the installation, we only need a short power off of the equipment. Samfora streams the data to the gateway, and the gateway sends it to the cloud. Smotix AI compares uh, today's electrical signature with the database electrical failure signatures in the past. If there is a Samfor alert, we can validate that alert with a handheld vibration measurement in the field. The engineer receives an email which I think is beneficial. He doesn't have to look at SAM4 all the time. He can then open SAM4, checks what the issue is. Then the engineer and technician go into the plant, they check the equipment, they see what the issue is, and then they can better plan what needs to be done. This avoids, of course, the calls for consignment, weekend services, etc., and uh, replace or repair the equipment before we have a failure of the equipment itself and plan downtime. Initially, we had some skepticism within the team. We had seen some demos. Uh, we thought it's a bit too good to be true what is presented here. The team was a bunch of non-believers. The system warned us for something, but we didn't believe it. But nevertheless, we opened up the casings and we checked what really was going on. And we saw there was something going on. So this was really a mind changer for the whole team. Every time you install something new, or bringing a new system, there's skepticism. Engineers won't trust it. That's normal. Uh, change is always difficult uh, for people. And what helps is getting proof. Sam4 flagged this, and the reliability engineer went over there. He did his checkup, and he saw it. it is true. Luckily, we had an installed spare one. So we switched to the installed spare one and we took this one for maintenance. But this time, we could plan it. On the 23rd of May, we detected a growing voltage imbalance in some of the assets at our new store. Turns out that this voltage imbalance was actually coming from the 10 kV feed that is here on site. We received this alert late in the afternoon on a Friday. Most of the operators are ending their shifts, the reliability and maintenance teams are going home. So we realized that we had to reach out as soon as possible. After that uh, Samfar alert, we found a shaved cable of a rectifier transformer uh, circuit that resulted in an earth fault of the tank of grid. We isolated that cable to prevent more damage in the rest of the installation. If Samfar didn't give a notice, we could have uh, about 1 million uh, of equipment uh, damage and a production stop. We 
had, uh, I think in total, eight or nine different instances where we found uh, these kind of issues. And being able to plan the work and do it um, quite fast, where we don't have to shut down roasters or uh, the asset plant, yeah, saved us a lot of money. So return on investment, pretty short. The moment you consider online monitoring, I would always take a look at Semotix to install it. Because it's installed in the MCCs, you don't have your equipment outside. It's much easier to maintain. The dashboard is immediately up and running. We have the early warnings. We have done some repairs during the weekdays. And this reduces the time of people spending in the nights and weekends. And reduces our downtime. So. I think it's the best way to do condition monitoring. It's a simple installation, the system works immediately. The engineers get the data and the technician can sleep at night. Yeah.